Robinhood, your learning platform. I know the this is going to be short and sweet. We'll try to get you guys out on before our nine o'clock or very close to nine o'clock. Those who is new with us, again, welcome. We, I am Mushi Buyan. I'm the founder of this nonprofit organization, Urban Food Alliance. If you have not visited, please visit the website. Urban Hood is one of our educational program. There we focus on personal development, literacy, any of those investment, investment education is all about money. We talk about money, we learn about money, we, we invest in the market. So money matters. We learn money, we inform you about the money. Today, everything I'm sharing is all educational purpose only. We, I do not offer anybody any financial advice, no financial advice, and I'm not telling you what to buy, what not to buy. As an investor, you need to do your own due diligence and trade at your own risk. Don't trade if you are not willing to take a loss or if you do not have the proper knowledge, take your time, learn. So today's session, we're going to be covering these four sections, market economy, as we are going to share with you some of the market economy, what happened and why some of the things, things are happening. And those who is watching a stock, they say, hey, my stock was up, now why it went down? Because of the economic factor. So you need to, little, you need to be aware of it. So we are going to share some of those. Then we're going to share with you some of the ticker and stock that you can consider for this coming week. Later on, we, we may dive into real estate and crypto, depending on the time. Let's see how we are doing. So the market, the facts. This coming week, that the fact is about in China, Europe, and outside world, COVID cases is going up. Some of you may already have seen it. The news last week came up, you know, in, in last week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that in, in China, in Europe, that more and more people are getting in the, getting sick and they're getting symptoms of COVID cases. And in fact, investors are worried that if China and other countries are going to be go, go through another shutdown, if that happens, if, if outside the world is, is going to have more numbers or more people are getting sick, that would affect our market. So we are still in bullish market, but this is something you cannot ignore it. Just be aware of it. Then you're going to, you may already have seen it or heard about it. I'll go a little bit deeper that last week, NASDAQ and S&P, Standard and Poor, uh, that uh, 500 top stocks in, in mid cap and, and big cap, they, their weekly was, went higher. So we pretty much NASDAQ and S&P went all, all time high last week. So, but Dow Jones went down last week. So this is, that's something, it's not like too much down, but it still will go deeper. So last, last week was a good week overall for the market. Third thing that you need to be aware of it that why inflation, inflation is the one of the key things everywhere you might be seeing it. And especially consumers like you, who is going to buy something, the gifts or all the Black Friday coming in, Thanksgiving coming, holiday shoppings are coming in. You are going to see that during this holiday, things are more, way more expensive than before. But what are you going to do? Some of you have no choice. You are going to pay the cost. So all those uh, the business owners, they are passing the cost to the consumers. They are being creative. That's going to cost your wallet. So in, that means that inflation is, is keep going higher, uh, higher since 1929. This is the first time in the history of, of this country that this went the highest in inflation over 6% rate. So in inflation is not transitory, although this is temporary and it's going to go away, it's not, ha not happening. So what they're seeing is more like transitioning. I mean, as holiday sales are going to come, come 
through it and they're going to find out say how much consumers are really spending so some of the numbers going to come out you're going to see weekly cpi number and other economical da data that we are sometimes sharing in the in the team especially those who is in in our paid program we mentioned to them to you and give you detail that expected number this is the number it came in and hence you know that why the stock you care about or the business you care about, it went up and down because of those, some of the economic factors. The variables that you need to be aware of US-China relationship, there is a seminar right now, Bloomberg conference happening in, in Singapore. All the investors, especially the CEOs and high level investors or retirement investors like from JP Morgan and all of them high level that uh, hedge fund owners, they're all there going through, so you going through the supply chain, what's happening in Europe and how are they managing this pandemic and how are they going to be able to, you're going to handle the supply chain in case it gets worse. So those discussions happening there. As that is happening, US and China are going to have a meeting to find out, you know, you know the tension between US and China is happening uh, is since Trump went, you know, uh, created some of the strict rule between those these two country trade, especially to protect the consumers in this country at the same time from the business owners from this country where they are trying to figure out how can they balance it and at the same time has, has better transparency for the people who buy the stock than the stock, but then they are manipulating some of the numbers. It doesn't have to be the, that company, but consumers need to have the confidence that is more transparency. So those discussion is going to happen this, this coming week. So be aware of it. Last week, Biden signed that bill, infrastructure bill. That means now it is officially infrastructure law. It enforced to law, and then that's going to affect also that some of the company that you might be thinking or thinking, hey, what type of business I buy and is this something worth or do I buying it? I will go a little bit more details, not today because of the time, but the, those I know some of you are already in the Platinum members group. So those you are going to see tomorrow night on Monday night, I'm going to share with you two or three trades that I am taking that's going to go towards this area. And by the time you take it and within few months that whatever investment you make in, in the platinum membership or those who is in our zero to hero program, you will get all this money back through this trade. And I will share with you reason behind doing it and you are going to follow exactly my trade. Okay. So you know, and then tax problem, we are already here. It's still that discussion is happening in Congress, supply chain, a lot of other things that I cannot go all one by one, but over time that if you want to really learn, just you can take a screenshot of this or we are going to be sharing this recording on our YouTube channel so you can listen to it later on. But these are the things you should be aware of. It is very, this changes every week, okay? So the, what's happening this coming week that in, in Asia market and then Europe market, as it happens that you need to be aware of it because that will affect this coming week, those who is thinking to make some trade and see if uh, what for you taking the risk. So in Asia market, central bank, the rate decision in Hong Kong and Korea, they are going to come in, going to share. So one, when I say central bank rate decision, those who is the, who understand a little bit about bond, this affects the bond market. In the US, I pretty much is all 0%, you know, we are not changing that. But uh, other countries also 0%, they're not increasing their, uh, their rate. Hong Kong and Korea, their projecting is going to be there. They're not going to be increasing, they're not going to be decreasing, it's going to be halted, stay the way it is. But New Zealand is going to be coming and sharing their the bank decision. What they're projecting that in New Zealand economically is doing better, that means in order for them to be more strong, that New Zealand might, may increase half percent, half percent of New Zealand rate. So that will be a, one of the good positive things to understand for the whole world, knowing that there are some countries are, are taking some action already, knowing that you know we are not getting, worse is over, now economy is coming back. 
Okay, so that's a good thing that they, we'll see how New Zealand market reacts also next week. And then there will be more ER earnings coming in for China, especially EV market. Those who is following NEO that you saw last time, last week NEO earnings came, came in or a few weeks ago, it didn't go as expected, but Xpeng is similar player in China that in their earnings are coming in tech side, also some more companies earnings are coming this, this week. So yeah, as usual, you'll see that uh, the China, how, how they are doing. And EMEA in Asia market, PMI data and some of the news coming, especially consumers, how consumers are spending money and what's happening with, the, uh, with their consumer behavior, what's happening also in the supply chain. Some of those numbers coming out in German and UK this week. So that's on Tuesday. And Wednesday, that IFO data from Switzerland is coming out. Well, this is still something that we should be aware of it because sometimes what happens, what happens in Europe in the morning, our market in the US market affect a little bit. And then people say, why it went down? Then so well, look, you know, in Europe is everything is scary, everything there. And then in our US market, fast half an hour, one hour, it just takes time to absorb all those news. What happened to Europe and then slowly uh, here analysts and other, other analysts and the market investors have a confidence goes higher. Hey, that's not going to affect us too much. Hence stock slowly, slowly sort of picks up or goes down, upside or goes down, all right? So be aware of it. And central bank rate decision, this is also going to be in this coming week, Switzerland. Switzerland is going to be sharing what are they doing? Are they are going to follow same thing what New Zealand doing? Or they're going to be just keeping it hot and not to increase their, their rate? In the US, so this week, those who is doing stock trading, you might say your stock is not going to move too much up and down. Typically, this is the, the slowest, slowest week of the year. And the day on Wednesday, Wednesday is going to be a half day. Half day on the stock market is going to be closed earlier. Around one o'clock, I believe, is going to be closing. So you know that it's a three and a half days of uh, market. So and then Thursday market closed. Friday is pretty much there is very low volume. So those who is doing options, hear me. Those who is doing option tomorrow or to early Tuesday morning, if you are at profit, do not wait till Friday. I, I have weekly options. I will get out because you want to cash out. You do not want to last go to last minute and just lose all those gain if you have the gain. So be careful on those. It's going to be short week. Second lowest trading day of the year. And then a little more earnings are coming in this coming week that you, know, you are going to see the Best Buy, Low, the Deer, and some other companies earnings are coming this week. And then it can, and then on Wednesday, uh, the, still this data is going to come in on Friday, Wednesday, between that you know, consumer income, new house sales, and, and third quarter GP, GDP, you know, what's happening and all that. That's also going to be kind of telling us the economic indicator, are we having that inflation, the everything going higher, is this going to be staying there or we are thinking that uh, the inflation is not, it's not going to go back to 2% what they usually project two to 3%, right? So that data is going to give a little bit more indication to the market and investors. So be careful on that one. So now let's get back, back to the, the next chapter is economic is data is done and in stock and options, what, what's happening this coming week. So we are going to start with, with SPY. On the, before I go further, I wanted to let you guys know, if you have any questions, please, by all means, uh, you can post it in the chat uh, question group area. I will an answer to it. If you have any questions, I will have it. And then I know there are some people also asked um, in private. Let me see. I see. Uh, yes. Yeah, I keep asking any question because I do not know if you have something specific to in mind that I'll be happy to share with you. So one of the, the questions that I kept getting from people and 
keep caring about this. Uh, are we doing any holiday special? So with Urban Hood, and also the people do ask, you know, how do I get this information on the, the link? And here is, uh, okay. So if you have not visited our our website, please do, do visit it on the urbanhood.org. When you come here, very upper right side, you are going to see the, all, the, all the social media link. Here you're going to see in the meetups you know, and the, all the events, what we do is there. And I believe we have a team working on it on the events. You may already have the updated uh, the events. If not, it may not be okay. He's still working on it. So, you know, we uh, have a team that you will have it holidays, it's going to be done. But here you are going to see YouTube link is going to be sitting here. On the YouTube link, you will be able to, once you subscribe it, you'll see recording is going to be there. And the other thing that, you know, uh, we are making an update on the website. It's starting this coming week, right after holiday. If you want us, if you are very active and then you say, hey, you know, share it, trade. Every day we're going to share one ticker. One ticker that you know, depending on your type of trader you do, we'll share that you know buy law, what price to buy, what price to law sell. For example, like this. Uh, if you see this uh, here, this is my room. We have in in Discord. We share things like this here. You can see that here. When we in our paid program, when somebody buys something and we say, you know, what, what price to buy, what's the strike price, what's the call, what's the average buy price out, and then we give you some kind of indication, green, yellow, red, that you should be start taking profit as it goes. That's one way. Another way we also mention, like, you know, give you an indication, like, you know, here you buy this, what's the stop loss, you know, and if you do option, what the option you take. So indicate uh, details like this we do every week. We start on the Discord. We have a voice nine o'clock. We start and then till four o'clock Discord voice is on. So if you want to get those, if you are not too active but you'd like to have an email in your mailbox, just go on the website, put your name, email, and then we'll, we'll put you in our list. You'll get it. That's one. The other thing that people ask for, you know, what are we doing on, on the holiday time? When you go there. Also, you say how I did it. It's just in our membership. We click on this link, more details. It gives you a membership that where we have we have membership on gold and platinum. On the gold platinum, you can read, watch these details, and as you put the information, show me more. How do you get there? Just go there. It's just self-explanatory. Everyone who who is in our community that we have to get uh, we. We assign you Office 365. All of our meetings, all our recordings is stay during the weekdays is on, on, on through the Microsoft Teams and there. So when you go there, you'll see that we have 29 99 79 and 129 per month to have a different package. Differences are here and, and others. And next one, when you go there, we have even trial package that many times people asked us, how do, how do you get it? Now we are able to offer that trial package and we have gold and platinum. We have a easy pay bundle per month and we have the 10% this. So this one and then in the room, you're going to see that we have a program called Zero to Hero program. Somebody is going to be sharing with you that link. It's a six month program where we teach you all the details, all Anything you do in the stock market is, is we are assuming that you have zero background and you don't, um, you're ready to learn. So from there, we meet once a week in person, go through all those recordings. And we also, before we tell you what to watch. And then in, in live, we explain to you that why we buy these, why you should selling that. All the details are there. But one of the special we're running that our $2,500 program is going to be a, Till now, till Sunday, this coming Sunday, anyone who buys platinum package, anyone who buys platinum package is going to be automatically enrolled in our zero to hero program. Okay. 
So that's why I wanted to make sure that you guys know. And some of you said, how did you sign up? This is how you sign up. Now let me get back to my, to what other question? You have, I, if I can, I got a part. Okay, my screen is normal, no issue, okay, cool. Uh, okay. Any questions before I go to the next now? On the membership side or, and everybody who is a member with us, paid member, you will get Office 365 E1 license. You can see on the website or set the cost of it but they all the details on that website. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, that, uh, Moshe, we... just before you continue, uh, something I wanted to emphasize is that uh, th that perk that you just mentioned, uh, the Zero to Hero program that is uh, included with the Platinum uh, mem membership fee. So the Platinum membership fee is literally half of the value of the actual program. So you're basically paying half the value and you're getting both. I'd say that's the the, the best deal for uh, this right. time of the year. Yeah, thank you for doing. And the other thing also, if you look at the links, if somewhere, someone can share the link of the Zero to Hero, you will see that we have 100% money back guarantee and 100% guarantee that whatever you are investing, you'll get your money back. If you don't, if you come here, you learn with us, you put your effort, you don't make the money because we share with you your trade. You don't make it, we'll give you money back. We are in, in the business of teaching people about learning and putting effort just like us. Okay. Yeah, and you just mentioned the like a meeting like the one tomorrow that's going to be exactly like sharing a few tickers that yes. is going to pay for the the membership and more. Exactly, so... you are going to make money tomorrow night. So those who signed up, you are going to see tomorrow night. I'm going to share two tickers that I already have it, but I'm I still need a little bit more research to this. And during the market opens tomorrow, I'll see if it's, it's behaved that way. You might be able to make that money within within a very very few weeks, whatever you're investing, all right? So tomorrow I'll, I'll share that. But here, look at the, the SPY. SPY started last few weeks. You said starting Monday. Here is Monday. You see how it went high. So it went all time high on Wednesday. It pulled back a little bit. Friday is boom. So that tells you that market is still bullish. Look at the QQQ, NASDAQ all time high. NASDAQ touch over on the right side. Look at 400, 403. It's keep going higher. So it's still is indication market is this market is bullish. It's not, there is no signal that it is. There are things that you need to be careful, but, but there are still some, a lot of companies are very discounted rate you can get. So those discounted rate, like we said, infrastructure bill that the Biden, Biden just announced. So many companies out there is ready to explode and their current price is very low. So tomorrow night, I'm going to go more deeper on that. Just due to, due to time constraint, I cannot share all those things for now, okay? So look at Dow, because my our, our purpose on, on, on Sunday night to prepare your mentality that, hey, be ready, know this kind of economical factor, know what's happened as a whole market, know what's happened around the country, world. So, and then when market opens, we do, we, that's the reason we always say nine o'clock in the morning, we all have the live market and we look at it, what happens to the market. We have commercial products that there gives us a live data. So it's not like we are uh, shooting in the dark, okay? So based on the market activity, we tell people, hey, it looks like so, all these companies are selling, 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 and there's not enough volume. This is just not the, the day today. But when we find out there are some companies doing very well, so we tell, hey, this company is going to do well today. If you want to trade today, go these, these are the ticker. So Dow is, look at the Dow. Dow went down last week, but this camera again, anybody knows that what to hold? Tickers from the Dow last week did very well. Two tickers did very well. Nike is one of them. Russell 2000, those small business, look at a small business, it's weekly. 
it touched all time high on, on Thursday, Friday, a little bit went down. So a small business, Russell 2000, a lot of companies, small business out there has re, is, is still ready to go higher. So, so th then what I want to share that um, people are, they ask, what do we do on Monday? When, when's a Monday and every day? This is our typical day for all the, all the paid members. You see Sunday, Tuesday, and uh, Saturday, we have all the free programs on our meetups. Those who is in our meetups, you can see that on the website, all the, but inside Monday, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we have private sessions happen focusing on different focus group. There are people doing retirement. There are people doing who is doing options. Some people doing cover calls. Some people saying, hey, I am, I, I, I'm looking this type of opportunity. So we do a focus based on the, your focus group need. We, we create those sessions or sometimes we just open up the sessions are hey, today's market, this has happened. And during the market time, we do not do any education part. We say we'll table it now, tomorrow night, or uh, those nights you see that on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, we'll cover this topic that way everybody who's more active in, in investment, short term, long term, or near term, they understand that what happened, why it happened, it stock going higher, why it going down. And it's, it's almost like building a muscle. When if you want to build a muscle, you cannot just go in the gym once a week and hoping that you are going to be transforming. So this is what, when we said that, hey, if you are really serious to learn with us, please consider investing money in you that way your money is protected and secured, okay? Now that uh, I just wanna share the, the Next, uh, one other thing I'm looking this this week, the for trading. I just I just have to make sure my uh, software is open. Do you, do you guys see my desktop? Yeah. So what you are looking at that Tesla, and so those who is following me are knowing that that you know, what I do I, I, I love Tesla I, I know the business very well I, I made a lot of money with Tesla I lost money too but overall by using this technical these are the thing in the class we teach that what am I about to do this coming going in Tesla Tesla if you look at that uh, Tesla on daily on the daily side Tesla does look like you know it's still in it has a more it, it's it's uptrending, it is going higher, but over time the, you know, on the weekend, there are some news came along Tesla, but Tesla, we know that the news doesn't, are, sometimes the news will, it gets to it, but sometimes it just throw away all the news. It's one tweet from Elon, it's changing things. We never know what happened, right? So it is it's very, it's very unconventional stock, but if, by looking at in this here, you can see that Tesla is ready to touch. You can four hours, you see that it's ready to touch 1200 areas on the, on this zoom. But this coming week, you know, we, we know that on Friday, Tesla just had a huge move, a huge move. It went from below 1100, almost like 1137, 34. So we'll see that if uh, it can continue to go upside and, and do 1200, we'll see. But overall, Tesla is, is I'm bullish for the week. But for the short term, that if anybody's playing short term, be careful. Tesla can pull back, you know. We know because of this news. But I will be looking on Tesla. And next one is Amazon. Amazon, I think those who is following Amazon, you see that Amazon last Friday touched almost like 37, 61. 3761 is, is it touched, but then it pulled back. It so all time, all time high 3773. So they thought Amazon is ready to go all time high, high again. But Friday, end of the day in the afternoon, Amazon pulled back hard. It just closed in negative. But Amazon is, is ready. To explode, we know that if you compare Amazon with Facebook and Apple and those companies, Amazon is still 
is, is, is way undervalued comparing on its peers. So Amazon is ready to go higher. It is still is good, good stock for the long term. If somebody is looking something long term or, or also near term, but if you are looking at short term, Amazon, especially all option, is very expensive. It can wipe up your account. It moves very fast upside downside. So I would be very careful if you are new new in, in options and play with Amazon. Right. Uh, Apple, I think they remember on the Dow side, I say if you remember what happened with the Dow, Apple is another one that last week, you know, made a huge move on Dow side. That's uh, look at last Friday. It's almost uh, passing the all time high, 161. And there are a lot of money going in towards Apple. They're thinking Apple can be, since they announced Apple car and getting to EV, Apple has more upside to go higher. But over in general, this is a very solid company. If any time Apple pull back, and you know, if you look at you know week ago, a couple of days ago, Apple after the earnings it touched around here. You see around 148, 47, around this time after the earnings, Apple touched. When it it came down 142 area, that was very good price to get in. Somebody got in, you got a deal. All right. 148 this time, this price area. So I will be looking at um, that. And let's see if you guys have any more questions. Any, anyone has any ticker or anything that you'd like to know about? Uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA. NVIDIA, oh yeah, NVIDIA. NVIDIA had, um, they had some conference day event happen last week. Um, they had uh, earnings. Earnings and they had investors, some of the conference happen at their location. NVIDIA is just going higher and higher. It's bullish. Is, and, and right now with the current market, NVIDIA, you know, and the NVIDIA AMD just like, is this, you see uh, on, on Friday, huge, there's a lot of move to push it higher on, on Friday 3.30 going above 3.30 NVIDIA. We're, so not, NVIDIA. we're not seeing your screen. Oh, you are not seeing it? Oh, sorry. I thought it, uh... How about now? Yes, thank you. Yeah. So, so NVIDIA, yeah, NVIDIA is overall is a bullish. It's going, it's going to have more and more. It, in any time, if you are looking for NVIDIA to get in, I would say what, what, anytime there is a pullback happens, it's a good time, especially pullback in around 315. Three, if you get NVIDIA below 300 area, it's, you're getting a very good deal. NVIDIA is going to go over time. This stock, these AMD, they have more chance to going higher and higher. Anybody heard about Ford? You know, Ford, or anybody is investing in Ford? The reason I, I mentioned about Ford, Ford, if you see that Ford is pulled back and get into in and below, you see on the short term, it still looks like, you know, it's bearish, but anytime it goes down, this is a very good company to keep in your portfolio, especially for long term. Ford announced they are going to be building chips for auto industry. How many of you know the or maybe heard about it? There is a company in, in, in uh, shutting down or had had um, closed down for a couple of weeks in Malaysia that shook up the whole world. Anyone heard about this? If you do chat there and that well, I'll, I'll take, go take a look at it. So it happened, you know, about up to six months ago, eight months ago, when all the auto industry was uh, getting in, in there, coming up with, with the, announcing their earnings and saying they cannot produce because of they do not have enough chips. Then whole world leaders started thinking 
why is happening, what? And then they find out that there is a company, specific company in Malaysia, they produce the auto industry chips. Yeah, I think they had a fire or something. They shut down for for weeks. Yep. <laughs> so that made all the world leaders scared. They said, what if this company would be destroyed? Then we would be screwed. So since that, you know, in Washington, that all the... the the Biden administration and other business leaders got together, even investors from Wall Street, they got together. They are looking at industries that which industry has this kind of situation. If one or two company in the world is the only supplier and the whole world is going to be affecting. So every country is looking at that areas. So then what Ford has done, Ford looked into all the different pieces for the announce that they are going to build the similar chips in USA. Now, Congress and others are working on passing the new law and regulation that their policy is more lean towards the business who is going to be looking at business from overseas, bring back to US and then enable the US business to do, be self-sustainable. That ties with the infrastructure bill, as I mentioned, that that becomes law. Now they're trying to put an amendment in those law to support this kind of behavior for the business that, hey, you know, you are making now the, making us more self-sustainable, we'll give you this tax break, that break. So there are so many things out there that you should be aware of it. But within a an, few minutes or few hours, a week, I cannot share all the details. That's why when I said you're building a muscle that if you truly want to learn that, that it takes time. You know, uh, I love doing this since 2017. I retired, I'm doing charity, but as I'm doing charity, I find out that there are so many people, they just that they want to make money but they don't understand money. They don't understand, they don't spend the time to learn money. So by joining us, our program that you will be informed, then it's your money, your hard-earned money. Why not you just learn more about money, not to share, oh, my friend told me, so-and-so told me, and then you make a rational decision based on that. You, we want you to make that informed decision. So, Bushi, at, uh -huh. uh, so I, I read that, GM is also going to be in chip business, Ford and GM both. Yes, but I'm not saying that, that what I, all I'm saying that there are other business that encourage government is giving them more subsidiaries that, hey, you want to do it? Go ahead, we'll work with you, right? So you'll see that I would not be surprised soon, let's say Tesla or others come back and say, hey, we are going to do this, right? So yeah, it, it is. It is a good thing for the business. But Ford came along. That's the re reason I'm, I'm mentioning Ford. It's a good star, good company. If you see that now it pulled back, consider buying it. General Motors, look at the General Motors. It is, it is going to be touching 70 very quickly. You see, it is, it is, it's right there, not too long ago. It was 65 variables, 60. So General Motors is going to turn around. It still is it's a good price. General Motors, they, especially this CEO of General Motors, Mary, Mary she's very, very um, thoughtful. She knows what she's doing. So they are also putting more, more than $4, $4 billion on new technologies out there. So it is, this whole industry is going to be shaking. Um, keep an eye on this, okay? Facebook, let us see what happened to Facebook. Facebook last week, we saw that it was trying to do go higher, but it could not go back, go it, it pulled back later on. But at the, in the morning, Facebook was ready to go last to go higher on. It's ready to go over 350. It could not make that happen. But over time, Facebook is just like others. It, start, it is going to turn around. We, we know after earnings and, and declaring from the metaverse and stuff going on, it's just temporary. Facebook is going to get back like Apple and shop. Anybody knows about this stock shop? Last week, Friday, this or this went crazy, this stock. Uh, 
I, I know who they are. They're Shopify, but I, I, I don't have any news about them. <laughs> they, are, they are struggling. If you look at it, you know, they are struggling for a while, sitting at around 60. But last week, you know, just boom, it just went 17, 60. It had a big high move on last week, 1700 it went to. But Shopify is on a, a company. It's, it's going to do well. This is another one. Um, Macardo Libre. Anybody knows Macardo Libre? Yeah, they're a uh, they're like an eBay site for um, I think South America and Mexico. Yeah, Amazon of South America. Amazon of that. Yep, there. But this this company, they are. They are doing some buyback and then think of that. That's why sometimes you know, we tell people, you know, look at Tesla. Tesla, Elon sold billion, billion dollar stock. His stock is going higher. It didn't go too much down, right? And this company announced they're going to buy back some stock. They're going to sell some stock. Boom, their stock going down. What's wrong with that picture, right? <laughs> so sometimes in the market, that's why we did in the day when we say they join us in the Discord nine o'clock, we see that what's happening and, and especially something called dark pool. So in the dark pool, what you can see that you can see billion, billion dollar of money people are going in. It doesn't go regular exchange. It has some special exchange where they're buying or the when I say buying, selling, you cannot tell it's buy or sell. All you can tell there, there is a billion dollar transaction happen on McCarty, billion dollar this. Then when you are looking at millions, billions happening, then you think, hey, what is happening? Then when you look at the special, the volume of the, of the shares, it tells the selling and buying, right? But that's why it's demand supply. So that's the reason when I said during the market, you know, we can tell what's happened because we have, access to those live information and if you try to go buy those in a flow algo go look at that um, membership of flow algo a month 129 dollars they are bloomberg thousands of dollars it cost so it's hard for one individual to spend that much money that's why with an urban hood that you know we offer those service for members that the members are in, uh, informed during the day that's the reason we say enjoy stay on the Discord and the Discord with you, just like, hey, this happened, this happened, we share. And at the same time, we share our trade with other other members. Huh? Did you read that? No, I've got that. Um... Lucid, Lucid was good this week. Yeah, Lucid was awesome. So who said, yeah, this, uh, I, Lucid was, and, uh, yeah, it made a huge move. It is get coming back 61. It will come. With this rate, currently EV market, Lucid is ready to come come, come back up 60. So if you have Lucid, hang on to it. It's going to touch 60s. Watch. Yeah. But anybody doing that, uh, that's a new one. What's that, that new one coming in? It came in? Uh, I forgot that. Brilliant. Yeah, Rivian, right? Rivian, right? Rivian. Oh, and that one, that stock is crazy. Stock. You had a chance to make double, <laughs> like d double make money this week because it fell and it went up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. And this stock is holy cow. It just went to 179 pullback. Now, TV is profit taking happening. So that, but in a way, when I said those who is new to the business understand. How can a stock like this can sustain? Because there is no, when I say count, it needs to be proven. That's why you have earnings, you have guidance, you are having forecast. It just came in IPO. When it comes in IPO and people think it can, it can go to the moon, be careful, it can pull back. So you know, if you made money, it's good, great. You know, But if you have a very strong um, faith that it's going to go to the moon, I would just be careful. We have seen what happened to Robinhood. Um, what's the Robinhood uh, ticker? Is it? Uh, oh, I think it's a 
R O B I. Yeah. R O B I. Uh, hood, hood, hood. Yeah, hood, hood. Yeah. Yep. You see, his IPO price was thirty-four dollars. Look at now, it's below IPO price, and that was no, the biggest no, hype. Enough. That's the biggest hype of this stock. <laughs> so you never know what's gonna happen, right? And let's see there, huh? And okay, yeah. Thank you, uh, Raymond or uh, Renans. So do you guys have any questions so far what I'm sharing? And let's talk about crypto if you know. What are you guys doing with the crypto market? Anyone? <clears throat> Is there anyone in the room that even knows a ticker? Even if you're not trading it? Just for fun. Um, M marathon, M A R A. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, it looks like you know you guys are not too much into take crypto, which is good. I just do not want to then take away the opportunity. But those who is thinking, look at crypto. Bitcoin is below sixty thousand. <laughs> Bitcoin, Ethereum is, is, is almost there near. We know it almost tried or it touched close to 5,000, but it could not handle it, came back up. Bitcoin, Binance, Tether, but Cardano, I say 1.8, but Solana, I just keep going. Solana is still is there, it's, it's strong, Solana. And- our, Solana, Solana is uh, SOL? Yes, as well. Yeah, Solana as well. Yeah, this is the ticker. Okay. Yeah, Solana is still is just making the huge, you know, staying strong. Solana, and I guess those who is Doge, look at Doge. <laughs> Doge is just keep going down, you know. Uh, this like this. What other ticker? I know that there, there are so many ticker out there, but you know, if you know. I, mean, I, I don't own other others, but I know I own some of these. And I own this guy, this guy, Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, this, Shiva. Uh, so I've, I, I mean, I've never uh, traded crypto, but is that, is that traded uh, on normal exchanges or do you have to go to a specific uh, place to, to trade it? Yeah, you have not uh, there. What's the other uh, Binance? You can go in Binance. Yeah, you have to go it to answer your question. Yes, you have to go in specific specific uh, exchange. Yeah, you see here. If I click on exchange here, you can do Coin Gecko, Gecko Coin Market, and then uh, let's say if you you are interested to buy Cardano, you click on the Cardano, and then it shows you that. Uh, and uh, it will give you a chart and all of this, and then it shows you here the bit be, be, behind. It. You see that you can buy it from this Coinbase. You can buy it Binance. You can buy it Etoro. Okay, they are the they are almost like okay, got uh, it. So you can buy it from them. There are also a, some stocks a little that bit are of a uh, connected. Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say there are also some stocks that are connected to Bitcoin. So you, like some people might prefer that as well. It's like uh, BTBT. There, there are some, um, I mean, uh, data mining companies like Riot. Like it, like there are some uh, stocks that are connected to Bitcoin that will move the same way, but not as much. Like they will not be in the 60,000s. <laughs> Okay, so you're but you're but you're buying a portion of that company, not directly Bitcoin or no, 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 yeah, not you're not buying Bitcoin. Yeah, I see somebody mentioned about this ticker, and what I am seeing on this ticker, BTRS, I don't know details, you know, but I see that there is a lot of selling happening sticker like this. And see here, I'm going to go back a little bit. You can watch, you know, as I'm going back more, 
it's like alarming. How can a stock like this comes and somebody pulls is like thirteen dollars? You see, in a day it goes all the way thirteen dollars, making people guy all the foremost people think, oh my God, it's going to the moon, going to the moon. Look at that from nine dollars to thirteen dollars, huge up. So what happens? Stock like this, then they go in different rooms, social media, other. They say, oh, buy this, buy this, buy this. It's going to the moon. And then other people start buying it as they're buying it. So it's keep dumping. It's keep down. It's going down, 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 down. It just keeps yeah, going it down. Could, it could be a pump and dump too, yep. where you know they they talk it up in some in some group or or yes. chat room or whatever. So this is the reason I would tell people, please, please do not ever buy any stock by being in a WhatsApp group or Telegram group. Somebody said, Kai, this is going, going to the moon. If you do not know what is business, this business, you do not understand what it is, don't buy it. It's going to bite you back. And then after that, you're going to do hoping and praying and doing whatever it is that you're going to do. At least uh, go do this, go finbiz.com. Type in BTRS, right? BTRS. And just know this business, let's say, you know, look at that. This should give alarm you, knowing. As soon as you, you saw that I entered it, it shows something like $19. You look at it you, with your eye. When you look at it, it's going from here, it's going down. What happens? It's a slide going down, right? It's a downhill, right? So it should give you, oh my God, should I buy this? And then start looking at that company that what, the learning some of this stuff we share in the class, but then read a little bit about what business they're in and cloud-based software integrated and this. Yeah, who cares they're in cloud-based software? There are a lot of companies that are going to be out of business and they are in Lawrence, New Jersey, which is great, but something must be wrong. There are, it's almost like a lot of uh, restaurants out there, you know, they cannot survive. All the big boys are going to take over. So sometimes, you, what do you do? Do you keep buying more or you say, hey, I'll take my loss and move on, make money someplace else? You short it. Yes. That's, you have to learn option, right? <laughs> you have to learn option that then you, you should buy keep some puts. Shorting it, buy some put, or, you know, you can do that. Uh, you you can even sponsor some put. There is something called back ratio ratio. You can use that. So that's why you know you, you those are the techniques that you know we mentioned about. Hey, I wanna I believe that this might turn around, but I think in short term it might go down a little bit. Okay, so buy some put, sell some call, and then very little you are putting from your pocket. But that's why. Not everybody is going to understand options, and it takes time to understand all the strategies. Yeah, and, and those you know who said hood, you know, hood is like over time, hood going to turn around. I do think it's going to turn around. It's just going to take time. Hood, uh, it is, it's going to. Turn around. And, and one of the things you might see in December, they might have even more bad news because <laughs> their lockup period is going to be ending in December. When lockup lock period goes ends, a lot of investors is going to dump and just move on, put their money, money someplace else. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to go back like I touched one time 85. But I hope if, they, if there is any miracle happens in anything, I would, I would love to even sell my stuff and move someplace else. I invested in, in Hood pre-IPO. Okay. But it's still, it's just not, I'm just saying some of the things we could have done, but I had lock up period, I could not sell it. <laughs> and Okay, eight fifty eight. Was it helpful, guys? Actually, there is one more question. I believe is coming from Bandana. Uh, she wants to know about Disney. Oh, it's Disney. on the chat room. Disney. Okay. Oh, Disney is a bad news. Disney is bad news. Disney is just like it hurts my feeling. 
I'm sure many of you feel the same. But those who are looking for a deal, buy Disney. Disney is going to turn around. This is just like temporary. If you are looking to add some business in your long-term retirement account, you will not regret it. Disney is going to go over 200 very soon. Okay. Disney was the one that was $90 last year this time. So. Yeah. So, you know, when I say very that Disney is in a business because of their earnings, it just like some of the numbers just shocked investors. This is the case. That's the nature of the game. It happens. And at the same time, it's retail investors, people like you and others who doesn't know too much, they get scared, they keep dumping it and and by the time it's happened, and these guys, the big guys with, with a lot of money in a million billion, they're watching this. Okay, it, it bottom it can can it go down more well, below 150, 54? It did touch below 150. If it, I don't see you know, can it touch up to 135? You see that shows it can touch 135. If it does, they will be loading with it. So if your goal is, is getting for long term slowly slowly add few of them you don't put all of your money on there but overall disney is a good company it will turn around okay so they are having right now it's a short term it's like in you know, a weather it's a bad weather that is going through it's going to turn around okay. anything else okay so again, reminding you guys, those uh, who came in later, take advantage of take advantage of our the uh, platinum membership. Anyone who is part of platinum membership on the website, you can go website and click on more details. It's going to bring you anybody who is part of platinum. Our platinum membership thirteen hundred. Our zero to hero program is a six months program. And we have 100% guarantee, meaning you, you go zero to hero program, whatever investment you make here, you will double the money or you'll get your money back within that time. We not only give you that all the classes and uh, the recordings of the trainings all the, on the website, you're going to see the links, all this, but then you will have, you can join with us, the, all the strategies. We have a guy, you know, who has 97% success rate since he started trading in um, 1976. And he comes in, he's shared his strategy. We have that uh, hedge fund owner, that investment bank owner that they come, they share also some of the their strategy. So in that class, they don't come and just come there. So some of them are my friend and and, and through our friend, friend, and we, they come in, they share, teach those strategies in zero to hero class, okay? So anyone who sign up between now to Sunday, you will be automatically enrolled in Zero to Hero program. And this coming Monday, we will not do it on Zero to Hero program because of the holidays. But tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier, those who sign up, you are going to get it tomorrow night. I'm going to share with you two triggers, two triggers that whatever you're investing here, even if you do your option, you're going to get, get your money back in two weeks, three weeks. Thanks for watching. Visit our website, urbanhood.org, and join our community at meetup.com and look for financial freedom for you. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon.